Hello guys, welcome to my channel. I hope you are all doing well and all enjoying summer with your friends and your family. So first of all, I just want to say that I'm really sorry for disappearing, but I was traveling a lot and I couldn't really find time to um, make videos for this channel, but I will try to be more consistent. And also I have great news for you. I have some surprises for you. So I have been designing decks, oracle decks specifically in the last couple of months and I'm going to put them on my Etsy shop really soon and I just want to mention them really quick before we actually start our reading today and I'm just hoping that you will, you will like them because I really put a lot of effort into them and I think they are really good, I don't know, I've, I've been using them on my personal readings and I got really good, um, really clear messages with that. So first of all, my first deck is this self-love deck, okay? Because I feel like we have been um, struggling with self-love, most of us at, you know, maybe not all the time, but at certain period of our lives, we kind of struggled with that. So I thought it could be a good idea to make a deck specifically for self-love so you can pull cards every day to see you know what you need to work on or um, what could be your message for the day for example i have boundaries i think this is such an important thing because i feel like you know sometimes we we act like we don't have any, any boundaries because of what we want or the, for the people we love but I think it's really important to have boundaries so if you're feeling like you don't have any maybe you could you know pull this card and this could be a wake-up call for you you know so yeah and I tried to use pink on this deck and I really liked it so yeah i'm going to put these ones on my shop really soon and i'm going to inform you about that so this is the first deck for self-love and the other one is for love triangle okay so this deck is specifically for people who have been dealing with a third party okay so this is the messages from your person to you who have been in a love triangle okay so let me just give you a quick little um, few cards I can just show you about the deck and with these deck I'm getting really good messages really clean messages and I'm just hoping you will also like them so this deck looks like this and it is great for readings that include three people okay so yeah and this deck is called love triangle oracle and i forgot to tell you the first one is self-love journey oracle okay and the third one is i'm really excited about this one as well guys so this one is um you know we sometimes do questions like who is coming to your life who is thinking about you etc so this deck is called I know your oracle okay so on this deck there are 75 cards and I put 25 cards for that person's personality 25 different um, careers jobs and also 25 different cards for their looks so it's like a whole complete set of you know like who is this person coming into your life so let's say we put empathetic maybe this person could be empathetic we have jealous for example we have picky we have funny we have dominant we have piercings for example or we have writer you know immature those kind of cards and i really enjoy using these decks um yeah because it's so much fun to you know like have a deck that kind of includes everything like job looks and um personality so yeah this is the third deck um i'm still working on them the decks are ready but i'm trying to you know um set everything up properly and i'm going to let you know about these decks very soon guys okay so yeah 
So apart from that, on today's reading, we are going to check how does your person feels about you right now, okay? We are going to dive deep into their heart space and we are going to see how do they feel about you, their current feelings and thoughts, you know, that's the topic for today. So let's see. And also guys, as usual, I'm going to put three different piles on the screen now. So please make your selection with your intuition and I'm going to see you on your reading. Okay, thank you. Hello pile one, welcome to your reading. So let's find out how does your person feels about you. Okay, so can you please show me how does pile one's person feel about you? How does pile one's person feel about them, not you? <laughs> yep, we have king of swords. How does pile one's person feel about them? How does pile one's person feel about them? We have ten of cups. How does pile one's person feel about them? We have the hermit. How does pile one's person feel about them? Can I have these cards one by one, please? Wheel of the year. And we have Ace of Wands in the reverse, okay. So first of all, Pile 1, I just want to say that this is not for everyone, but for some of you with this Ten of Cups, the person that you're asking about could be your husband or your ex-husband or someone that you really had a long-term relationship, okay? And I feel like with this King of Swords, this person is a bit distant. This person kind of pulled himself away from you or herself away from you and you also have hermits, so I feel like this person is right now um, kind of, you could be in no contact with these hermits in the middle, but I feel like this person right now is trying to find their life purpose okay because we also have the wheel of the year i feel like they are trying to find their life purpose what they need to do and also your connection really confuses him like they want to get the right decision about this co connection you know they don't want to um let's say cut cut you off they don't want to do anything they just want to take his time a bit and i think with these ten of cups even if let's say you are not married you this is not a long-term partner in that case i think this person is someone who probably sees you as their future partner they kind of see a potential they kind of see you know you're coming together and having kids and being happy and stuff but i feel like right now with these ace of wands in the reverse i feel like this person lacking um enthusiasm in their life it's not just about you i feel like overall this person's life is like they don't know what they are doing right now okay i don't think that this person is happy i feel like they they don't have any ambition you know towards anything right now Yes, they want to have this, but I feel like there are some other things that this person needs to solve. And with this Wheel of the Year, I feel like maybe this person might be dealing some karma from his past life or even from his um, previous life or maybe, you know, from his previous partners or I don't know. But I feel like they might be dealing with some karma as well. So let's see. Can you please show me how does Pile One's person feel about them, please? How does Pile One's person feel about them? We have six of wands. How does pile one's person feel about them? I'm not gonna lie guys, doing readings for this channel after a long time feels really good. <laughs> I miss you. So let's see. And we have ten of wands. Okay, this kind of gives me a vibe like ten of cups and ten of wands. Maybe this is a connection, like I said, like a marriage or long-term connection that is ended. Or if not, maybe the connection felt really intense. So sorry guys. And we have Page of Pentacles. How do they feel about Pile 1, please? How do they feel about Pile 1? We have Six of Pentacles. 
Oops. And we have nine of wands. Okay, guys, I'm going to be really honest. I feel like this, like I said, this person's life is a bit weird right now. Okay, but I can see with the six of wands, they definitely want to, you know, like come to you again. They definitely want to talk to you again. They don't want this connection to be over. Okay, I don't think that this person, you know, want, doesn't want you or anything like that. But I feel like with this King of Wands and Six of Wands, this person is trying to approach this connection in a more practical way. They are trying to make some plans so that they're not going to mess up, you know. They are like, if I just go to them right now, they might not accept me or I may need to give them, you know, like a solid plan or something. Otherwise, they're not going to be happy with that or maybe they will reject me and with these nine of wands i feel like this person is a bit paranoid as well because i don't know but if you ever blame this person you know like you don't have any ambition you don't do nothing and anything like that i feel like this person is not happy with himself but at the same time i don't think that this person really enjoys getting um critics from others so maybe I don't know it's up to you but if you if you criticize this person too much maybe you should you know lower your volume a bit so sorry guys so that this person is going to drop their guard okay and i feel like this person feels like like if this connection is ended with these ten of ones i feel like this person feels like they are carrying a lot of burden and don't ever feel like you know this person is having fun doing all of those things and you know even if they show it that way i don't think that this person is doing that i think this person is this hermit and by the way this person could be an air sign and also this could be a virgo but we actually have every sign we also have fire and earth but whatever it's not that important so i feel like i feel like guys with this hermit and the page of pentacles do you know that this person is having some problems with with their job like with their workplace because i feel like this person is really feeling like starting another thing like another business another job like i feel like this person is not really doing well at where he is at like where he's working right now because i'm seeing him having some type of um business ideas but also this page, obviously this page, this also means that I feel like this person really wants to talk to you, okay? With this hermit and the page of pentacles, this person wants to kind of get out of this hermit mode, kind of wants to talk to you. But I feel like, guys, with this person, with this wheel of the year and the six of pentacles, I feel like this person is, like I said, this person is probably dealing with a lot of karma right now in their life. I feel like there was... Um, you know there was there could be a bit imbalance between give and take this could also mean maybe i feel like this person for some of you might have some family issues okay and it's not just about you okay i think this person really wants you to kind of know that you know the reason that kind of he pulled back from you is not about you but it's about his goals his um, life and what he really wants to do because this person is in a dark place right now okay and yeah i feel like guys let's have some more cards and see how do they feel so can you please show me actually i'm gonna yeah so can you please show me how do they feel about pile one please how do they feel about pile one how do they feel about pile one please how do they feel about pile one okay let's take two because they just dropped here so we have i want you so yeah this person definitely wants to they're not going anywhere they just want to be more practical they want to make a plan okay this is not someone who moves by their emotions i think this is someone who usually you know someone who likes to plan things who doesn't want to make mistakes and we have so many things remind me of you I please have these cards one by one spirit. How do they feel about pile one, please? 
We have I wonder if you are happy without me. So yeah, we also have Hermit. This is definitely a no contact situation or minimal, like really minimal communication. And I feel like this person with this page of pentacles, they really want to contact you and ask you, you know, how you are doing because they are really wondering, like, you know, are you okay? Are you doing well? Because clearly he's not doing well, you know. Let's see. And we have you and I were too young. Hmm. So especially guys, if you know this person from your childhood, because I also have the um, Wheel of the Year and Six of Pentacles, this kind of made me realize maybe there has been some type of karma that you both guys need to um, clear. Or if you feel like there is no karmic depths between you, this can also mean that I feel like maybe this person when they were young, they did some, you know, stuff that they need to pay for their karma right now. Okay. So can you please show me how do they feel about Pylon? And we have, I hope you can, I hope that you can forgive me one day. So this person wants to, really wants to have your forgiveness so i feel like if you if there is any karmic doubt between you this person is definitely paying off that right now okay and they are missing you i want to see with these um self-love journey oracle that i was telling you at the beginning which i designed and i'm going to put it on my Etsy shop really soon um that This is, I'm, I'm just going to check this for you guys because this is self-love deck, okay? I'm going to check what is your advice, like what do you need to work on about this connection, about yourself, but obviously um, that can also help you in this connection, you know? So what is Pile One's advice, please? What is Pile One's advice? Okay. So we have, I learn and grow every day. And it says, every day is a new opportunity to improve myself. I set my mindset to learn something today because that is the only way I can truly grow. So especially if you feel like this person, you know, your connection was too up and down, maybe it is time for you to, you know, like learn and grow out of this connection. You don't have to, um, you don't have to stuck here, you know. You can learn, get your lesson, and maybe not do that again. So what is Pile 1's advice, please? What is Pile 1's advice? Oops. And we have, I accept challenges. And it says, I embrace every challenge as an opportunity to improve myself. Challenges help me see my full potential and they help me rise to the next level. So if you feel like, guys, especially if you feel like this person is still on your mind and you don't know how to um, not think about them, you know, challenge yourself. Maybe you can say, I don't know, you can say, I'm not going to think about this. I'm going to, every time I think about this person, I'm going to read a book or I'm going to go out and take a 10 minutes walk. I don't know. Just just create some challenges for yourself to get over this person maybe. So what is Pile One's advice, please? And we have I am unstoppable. And it says I am determined to transform my dreams into reality. I am stronger than my fears and I choose to be unstoppable. Okay, I think this these three really kind of come together in a very like you know harmonious way. I feel like now the cards are telling you um, you shouldn't be scared of losing this person, but you should be scared of losing yourself. Okay, and you should remember that you are unstoppable. Nothing can nothing can stop you, and if you want to get over this person you can okay and also with this one i'm determined to tr transform my dreams into reality if you are feeling like you know there is something that you want to do in a long term instead of sitting at home you know um feeling bad about this person just put that energy into your dreams okay and they will be they will turn into your reality so yeah 
This was your reading pile one. I hope you like it and if you did and wanna say thank you, you can subscribe to my channel and I really appreciate that. Okay, so I'm going to see you on another one. Thank you. Bye-bye. Hello pile two, welcome to your reading. So let's find out how does your person feels about you right now, okay? So let's see. Can you please show me how does pile two's person how does pile two's person feel about them right now? Or pile two, how does their person feel about them? Oops, the card just flew away. <laughs> so we have nine of swords. How does pile two's person feel about them? We have karma, oh my god. How does pile two's person feel about them? Nine, Knight of Pentacles, how does Pile 2's person feel about them? We have Six of Wands. Can I have these cards one by one, please? How does Pile 2's person feel about them? We have the Star, okay. This kind of makes sense, guys. Um, first of all, whoever you are dealing with, okay, it's not a sim. It's not the exactly same message, but on for on the first pile, we also see some type of karmic depths, and we also have karma card here, okay. So I feel like with these Knight of Swords and the karma card, I feel like this person that you're asking about is really like trying to pay off some karmic debts right now and i feel like this person really regrets whatever they have done to you i don't know what they have done you let me know but i feel like whatever they have done to you they really regret and the the, the universe or who whatever you are believing in i think they are letting this person pay for it right now they are giving them sleepless nights they are giving them some even sometimes like maybe bad luck like you know maybe like they woke up in the middle of the night and they can't sleep again and obviously her, her her or his whole life kind of affected by this thing okay and i feel like i feel like as this person with this star card and the six of ones it kind of makes me feel like this person wants to heal this connection but the cards are telling them you need to heal yourself first Okay, I feel like if, if this person doesn't heal themselves first, they cannot give you what you want. Okay, and I think that's one of the reasons, I feel like, especially if you are in no contact, I think that's one of the reasons this person is not coming to you. Not because they don't want you, but I feel like the universe is kind of blocking them. The universe is like, no, you did bad, you did this, you did that to her, and now you need to pay for that first. And after you pay for that first, yes, there's a potential for you guys to come together, but not right now, okay? Now you need to pay for your debts, karmic debts. And with the Knight of Pentacles in the reverse, this kind of tells me that this um, situation might be going on for some time. And I feel like this process and this relationship is really long. I don't know. I feel like this is probably on and off situation and like a never ending situation, you know. And I feel like that for this person to come to you, it's going to take a bit of time, okay, with this Knight of Pentacles because Pen Knight of Pentacles is the most, you know, like slow knight in tarot. So, yeah. So, let's see how this Pile 2's person feel about them. Can you please show me how this Pile 2's person feel about them? Oops. How does Pile 2's person feel about them? We have 10 of Cups. How does Pile 2's person feel about them? We have 5 of Wands. Oh my god. <laughs> this person is really dealing with some heavy stuff right now, guys. How does Pile 2's person feel about them, please? We have 3 of Cups. How does Pile 2's person feel about them, please? We have Temperance. How does Pile 2's person feel about them? Oops, right location, right spot. <laughs> and we have Strength. Okay. 
like I said guys, I feel like this person, we also have five of wands and the karma. I feel like this person is dealing with a lot of karma in their life right now. Okay. And I feel like with this nine of swords here and the ten of cups, this person really knows that they messed things up. Okay. And they really regret that. I don't know what they have done. Please let me know in the comments. I'm really curious for this for this pile specifically. But I feel like they really regret what they have done. <coughs> for some of you guys, that's not for everyone, but some of you with these three of cups in the middle, it's kind of made me feel like maybe there has been some other people involved in this connection as well. And I don't I don't necessarily see a cheating or anything, but I feel like for some of you there might be some other people okay this could be a family member even friends like someone that kind of affected this connection and i feel like this person could be someone that kind of listens to others a lot okay and maybe that's one of the reasons they kind of mess things up I don't think that this person has a really good, really healthy like friends and you know like people around around them And I feel like with these six of wands on the tempers, this person wants to kind of balance things out. They want to um you know they want to have these ten of cups again, if that makes sense. And I feel like this person really thinks that you are going to be together again. I feel like this person doesn't lo lo um they haven't lost their hope with the star and the strength they are like yes the star this healing moment is going to happen for us and i believe in that for some of you guys this person could be a leo or maybe another fire sign or water okay but i'm getting strongly leo and also it could be they could be cancer as well or aquarius but yeah i feel like this person how do you feel about you is like i feel like they think that they messed things up Okay, they know that they messed things up. At least they are kind of taking some type of responsibility. Okay, this is not like someone who doesn't care, who doesn't, who kind of feels like they haven't done anything wrong. No, this person knows what they have done. Okay, and they know that that's why they are in this miserable situation and they are paying their karmic debts. Okay. But at the same time, I feel like this person is very hopeful. You know, they're like, we have this potential and I know my life is, you know, so complicated right now, but it will be over and we will be back again. And I'm not going to listen to my friends or people around me when it comes to my connection again. Okay, so let's see. Can you please show me how this pile two's person feel about them? How does Pile 2's person feel about them? How does Pile 2's person feel about them? Oops, sorry guys. <laughs> How does Pile 2's person feel about them? Okay. Yeah, look at that. I lost myself for a little while. Yeah, I don't think that this person is like... I don't know. For, this is not for everyone, but some of you, maybe this person enjoys numbing themselves with anything, you know? Especially if you know this person has some type of addictions. That could be anything, you know? I'm not going to specify that because this is a general reading. But yeah. How does Pile 2's person feel about them, please? We have I don't <coughs> sorry we have I don't react when people mention you take this how it resonates okay maybe this person you know when people talk about you they don't really say anything I don't know why you let me know can you please show me how this pile to this person feel about them please this is this is too many cards. How does Pile 2's person feel about them, please? And we have I replay our conversations over and over. So this kind of made me think that especially if you send this person some voice notes, 
or um, this, that can also mean like text messages but it kind of made me feel like this person really like enjoy hearing your voice like especially if you send them some voice notes i feel like this person kind of keeps playing them to you know hear your voice i don't know i think there is something special about your voice especially for some of you guys if you if i feel like this person really likes how you smile and especially if you send some voice notes that you are smiling you know you're like giggling and all of that i think this person really feels happy about that that's why they kind of keep playing that <laughs> i don't know And we have, I hid who I really am from you. So maybe right now, this person is not really showing you, you know, what is going on in their life. And especially if this person is a fire sign, you know, like especially Leo, maybe this person doesn't really show that they are weak, they are having a terrible time. And that's why they're kind of hiding themselves. And with these six of ones, maybe they are like, Especially guys, if this person has a big ego, you know, you might be seeing seeing them sharing stuff about their work, about their achievements and everything online to, you know, and I think the reason this person is doing that is to make better about himself. Yeah, I think like with this card, this person enjoys bragging. <laughs> You know, like, I have that, I have this. But I think he's not really doing well. And we have, I know I was a distraction from your pain. So, maybe for some of you, you met this person when you were at the lowest point in your life. Or maybe they met you and they were lowest point at their life. And, you know, they kind of felt like this connection will go nowhere. And then it actually went somewhere, you know? <laughs> yeah. So with this um, deck that I was telling you, the one I have created for self-love, Journey Oracle, I want to pull three cards to see what is your advice about this connection, maybe what you need to work on to um, increase your self-love like how to love yourself more because obviously when you love yourself more you manifest more in your life okay and it can also help you with this connection <clears throat> so what is pile two's advice please what is pile two's advice okay so we have i am comfortable with my emotions and it says there is no right or wrong way to feel and my emotions are valid. I allow, my, allow myself to feel and I do not ignore my feelings. Okay, so if you are feeling like, guys, you're trying to ignore your feelings, you're trying to act like you don't care about this person, this person is terrible, you know, they don't deserve you and everything. Yes, anger is a feeling, but let that, let, like, let that out, let that go out, you know, and be comfortable with your emotions because anger is also a feeling and it's okay to feel angry but let that let that go you know don't don't um keep that anger inside you because it can damage you in the long term you know if you are angry just show that don't keep it in so what is their advice about this place the pile two what is their advice Oops. What is their advice, please? What is their advice? And we have I radiate confidence. And it says I show up in every situation with my head up because I stay true to myself and I believe in my skills. So. <clears throat> Especially if this person made you feel a bit insecure about yourself in the past. You need to increase your confidence, okay? I feel like you can always build confidence. If you increase your skills, if you do more things about your about you know, if you sorry, if you do more things, if you learn more skills, your confidence is also going to increase and I feel like this is also going to make this person, you know, um 
like wow about you you know like confidence always attracts people okay Okay, and we have I accept challenges and we had this card on the first pile as well and it says I embrace every challenge as an opportunity to improve myself. Challenges help me see my full potential and they help me rise to the next level. So <clears throat> if you feel like you know you can't get over this person or if you are feeling like um, there are too many challenges in your life just accept them you know you can achieve you can overcome any kind of challenges and yeah that is your message pile too i hope you like this reading and i'm going to inform you about this deck um i'm going to put the links in the description box once they are ready to um you know once i'm ready to sell them but yeah Thank you so much for watching and I'm going to see you on another one. And if you like this reading and want to say thank you, you can subscribe. Thanks. Bye-bye. Hello Pile 3, welcome to your reading. So let's find out how does your person feel about you right now, okay? So that is the topic for today and we will see how do they feel about you. So can you please show me? How does Pile Three's person feel about them? We have the Fool. We have Two of Cups. How do they feel about them, please? Pile Three. How do they feel about them? We have Nine of Cups. We have five of ones. And we have seven of ones. Okay. So first of all, guys, for some of you, this could be a long distance relationship. Okay. It doesn't have to be or with this full card. It is possible that maybe um, this person is someone that you even like met online and you're just kind of chatting and everything but you know you haven't really met or maybe this is someone like I said it's a long distance or maybe this person is a bit far away from you right now okay maybe in another city or another place um, so first of all guys I feel like whoever you are asking about um, with these two of cups and the fool in the beginning I feel like this person this person wants to have a new beginning somewhere else with you. Not in the place that you are in right now. Or maybe they kind of want to um, come to you or they want you to come to them. Okay. Because it's like with this fool and the two of cups, they're like, let's start again together. But let's do it in and let's do that in another place where nobody knows us. You know, that's the kind of energy I'm getting. It's like very... Um, like mm, they don't really think about you know if this is um, doable or if this is going to benefit you in the long term but this person is like let's just go you know and i feel like guys with these nine of cups in the middle of your reading i feel like guys this person that you're dealing with could be like could be someone who really likes himself or herself they really feel like you know they achieve that they achieve this they are great um they can deal with all the obstacles um you know they're like if a problem come comes my way bring it in i'm gonna solve it out so it kind of gives me a vibe like more like a i don't want to say childish but more like a bit like immature energy okay they don't really think about things properly but i feel like they really want to kind of have you with this nine of cups they're like I want you and can you can you look like how this girl looks at this glass like that's how this person thinks about you like you are this little glass and they want to have you I don't know it's a bit weird and I feel like guys sorry about the ambulance um, I feel like I this person I don't know I don't want to say this person loves drama but I feel like this person is like kind of 
enjoying having a lot of issues around them because it kind of makes this person feel powerful you know if you have problem and if you can solve it then you are a powerful guy or girl you know <laughs> that's a bit weird but they definitely want to um, have a new start with you with another place i think and i'm seeing a dog here so maybe for some of you this person might have a dog or this can also indicate that maybe this person is really um free-spirited and they really like animals as well so can you please show me how does pile three's person feel about them please how does pile three's person feel about them we have ten of swords how does pile three's person feel about them please We have Queen of Wands. We have Six of Pentacles. We have Eight of Wands. A lot of fire energy and also water. And we have Strength. <laughs> It's funny to see seven of wands and strengths like yes everything comes to me everyone wants to fight with me as you can see from the sticks but i am strong i'm gonna get over that <laughs> it's a bit childish and i'm seeing this ten of cups here but i feel like as of some of you especially um especially if this person you know said to you that you know they want to start a new journey they want to go away they want to be themselves you know they don't want to have anything and i think maybe that could be one of the reasons this connection ended with these ten of swords like because this person wanted to embark on a new journey they didn't want to stay where they are but right now they are like yes i went there but um i feel like something is missing <laughs> you know and at that point we are seeing queen of wands and the two of cups i think this person is really really I'm passionate about you they really like how you look and they feel like you kind of complete each other in a way and they just can't stop thinking about you and that's why this person is like maybe I should just go back or maybe I should just ask her to come here and start a new journey together we can do it you know that's that's the vibe I'm getting from this pile and I feel like with these five of ones and eight of ones I feel like this person is going to call you guys this person is going to call you and tell you about you know his plans and everything but i feel like you're not going to like what he says i don't know why because five of france is more like arguments you know um yeah arguments fights i don't know but i think this person is going to call you very soon with this eight of ones and we also have nine of cups and the six of pentacles in the middle so this kind of made me feel like or it's kind of make me feel like this person okay maybe this person has a good job guys for some of you maybe they have a good job for their age let me put that out there okay because he doesn't show up as king but i feel like for some of you as well maybe this person could be a bit younger than you because you showed up as queen and they showed up as the fool so they could be a bit more um younger energy let's say and i feel like this person this person he i think they they want to give you something i don't know what is that but i feel like with these six of pentacles and nine of cups they want to give you something and they kind of want to surprise you with something but yeah i feel like this person's energy is a bit like too exciting you know too excited about everything who are you dealing with guys please let me know so let's see how do they feel about you can you please show me how does pile three's person feel about them please how does pile three's person feel about them so we have i am and i am starting to understand our connection so this kind of made me feel like maybe especially if this person you know moved to another place another city another even country i feel like this distance between you and them kind of made this person realize how they feel about you 
and we have my life is not as together as it seems so yeah that's why i said i think this person might have a good job <laughs> you know depending on their age like not not like great one and we have i knew exactly what i was doing Some of you guys, I'm not gonna lie, this is not for everyone, but some of you, I'm just getting like, maybe this person showed you a lot of things that they are not, okay? And especially if this person is younger, you know, maybe they're like, we can do that, we can do this. And because you had emotions and feelings for this person, maybe you kind of believe them. But I think this person could be a flag. I don't want to say full of bullshit, but yeah, anyway, it, it's possible. And we have I want to be more than friends so maybe this is someone you know maybe you just said after they go away or after this collection is over maybe you just said okay you can just stay as friends but this person is going to I think call you and tell you because we have eight of ones here I think they're going to tell you you know they want to they want to have something more than being friends can I have these ones just one please just only one more card please How do they feel about pile three, please? Okay, and we have, I wonder if you are happy without me. So yeah, very strong, no communication, I think, because that's why they are wondering, isn't it? So yeah. So I'm going to pull um, three cards from the self-love journey oracle that I have created for you guys to see what do you need to um, work, you know, like what is your advice about this connection, what you should, you know, um, how you should increase your self-love and everything, because it definitely increase your increase the quality of your life, you know, if you love yourself, you achieve more you attract more so yeah let's see what is pile three's advice please what is pile three's advice about this connection what is pile three's advice about this connection okay so we have i take care of my needs and it says my needs are at the top of my to-do list my mind, body and soul need me the most and I will always show up for myself. So if you feel like because of this guy, you kind of wasted some time, you kind of, you know, um, couldn't really do the things that, that th things that you are meant to do, like maybe taking yourself out for a spa, I don't know, like, you know, just taking care of yourself. If you feel like you haven't done anything for yourself in a while, the scars are telling you maybe you should do something for yourself. <laughs> So what is pile three's advice please? This is too many cards. What is pile three's advice please? And we have I radiate confidence and I think we also had this card on the second pile but I might be wrong guys. It, it says I show up in every situation with my head up because I stay true to myself and I believe in my skills. Okay. What is their advice please? Thank you. And we have I have boundaries and it says I set and I set and maintain healthy boundaries that serve my higher self. I am comfortable saying no to anything if it doesn't feel right for me. Okay? So if you feel like this person didn't really respect your boundaries or you kind of let this person, you know, walk all over your boundaries, maybe this is the time to create some boundaries with this person and tell them, you know what, like you can't do that to me, you can't do this to me. Um, I have boundaries, I don't know what is your situation, but I think you need to have more boundaries, okay? So yeah, this is your reading pile three and I hope you like it. If you did and want to say thank you, you can always subscribe to my channel and I really appreciate that, okay? 
I will see you on another reading. Bye-bye.